now similarly if you want to find out d by dx of root x this root x can be written as x to the power of half d by dx of x to the power of half so this is half into x to the power of half minus 1 so half into x to the power of minus half this is 1 by 2 into x to the power of half so 1 by 2 root x so derivative of d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x so better remember this formula d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x so next d by dx of 1 by x to the power of n this we can write d by dx of x to the power of minus n this is minus n into x to the power of minus n minus 1 So minus n by this can be written x to the power of n plus one. So some results we can remember. D by dx of one by x is minus one by x square. D by dx of one by x square minus two by x cube. d by dx of 1 by x cube minus 3 by x to the power of 4 d by dx of 1 by x to the power of 99 minus 99 by x to the power of 100 so you can remember like this so now d by dx of 1 by root x this we can write d by dx of x to the power of minus half this is minus half into x to the power of minus half minus 1 this is minus 1 by 2 into x to the power of minus 3 by 2 So minus one by two x to the power of three by two. Here x to the power of three by two means x to the power of half whole cube. This we can write root x whole cube. Root x whole cube is root x into root x into root x. See root x into root x is x. So x root x. so this can be remembered as minus 1 by 2x root x so d by dx of 1 by root x is equal to minus 1 by 2x root x now so now let f of x is equal to e power x that means y is equal to e power x what is the differential coefficient of e power x or what is the derivative of e power x with respect to x let us find out so now f of x plus h let us find out this is e power x plus h so applying formula by the first principles first principles we know dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h now this is equal to limit h tends to 0 e power x plus h minus e power x by h see this e power x plus h is in the form of 
a to the power of m plus n. This we can write a to the power of m into a to the power of n. Am I correct? Now, this is equal to limit h tends to 0 e power x into e power h minus e power x by h. Take e power x common. So, if we take e power x common, we have limit h tends to 0 e power h minus 1 by h. We have a formula in limits limit h tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is 1 using this one this is e power x into 1 check it. Now, this is equal to e power x. Now, d by dx of e power x is e power x derivative of e power x is e power x. Let us find out d, d by dx of b power x where a is constant. So, now f of x is equal to a power x a power x f of x plus h a power x plus h. So, now using formula dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h limit h tends to 0 a power x plus h minus a power x by h. So, this we can write limit h tends to 0 a power x into a power h minus a power x by h take a power x common. So, limit h tends to 0 a power h minus 1 by h we have one formula limit x tends to 0 a power x minus 1 by x is log a base e. So, this is a power x into log a base e. Therefore, d by dx of a power x is equal to a power x into log a to the base e.